my distinct pleasure to introduce uh, the Department of Energy's Office of Science Director, uh, Chris Fall. Uh, Chris oversees the, uh, the Office of Science within the Department of Energy. The charge is to advance scientific research across the nation through the national labs. I really want to thank Chris for providing uh, just outstanding leadership for the Office of Science. Uh, he's also responsible for the three labs represented here this evening, uh, Argonne, Berkeley, as well as Oak Ridge National Laboratory in that way. So. Chris was previously Deputy Director of the Advanced uh, Research Project Agency Energy, ARPA-E, as we love to call it. Uh, before joining DOE, he worked in the Office of Naval Research and the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy. Please join me in welcoming Chris. Dr. Hello. Good evening. I have some remarks here. I was told I got a, um, <clears throat> a big note at the top of the remarks that were prepared, which I, I tossed three minutes. Three minutes. I'll try and keep it. I might go a little over. Um, I, we're here in the beautiful um, Gleacher Center, home of Booth School of Business. I went to one of the other business schools in Chicago, and uh, um, space isn't quite as nice as this. It was fine. Um, but, but if I were to get up here and say, get a game. <laughs> say that I had three minutes to talk, that maybe a little bit of the difference between the schools is uh, the folks from Booth would take out their phones and turn on the timer, I think. Uh, the folks from Kellogg up the road would think to themselves, three minutes isn't quite enough time to go get another beer. So I'll, <laughs> I'll sit and I'll, maybe I'll listen to this guy and give him a chance. Um, anyway, um, Thanks for having me. I'm, I'm uh, honored to, to, to run the Office of Science and to be associated with uh, remarkable leaders like Paul Kearns. Um, and I'm, I'm thrilled to be here representing Secretary Perry, the Department of Energy, uh, and you know, more to, to my line of business, the you know, order 100,000 people that work at our 17 national laboratories pushing the boundaries of, of science forward. Um, I do want to, on, on behalf of the Secretary, just pause for a second and thank um, investors who might be interested in these folks, uh, for sure, but also the advisory board. Uh, I know you guys are giving your time. Um, I think we all understand in the innovation space that mentorship is really key, and having access to folks like you and having you participate in something like this is important. Um, the Secretary, Secretary Perry has uh, really... Um, uh, I would say entrepreneurship, innovation, thinking started in uh, you know the previous administration. Secretary Perry has really ordered us to uh, redouble our efforts. Um, it, it's not something that's in our DNA. If you think about it, for the first 60 years of, of the Department of Energy and its precursors, we did everything we could to keep people from knowing what we were doing. And uh, now we're trying really hard to, to get the word out to, to in particular, to uh, make the expertise at the laboratories, uh, the laboratory facilities themselves available to the private sector. Uh, that's a real uh, key incentive, a key uh, goal for us in this administration. He's, uh, we've redoubled the um, uh, Office of Technology transition, I think, Jetta Wong is with us tonight. She started it back in the previous administration, but also named a chief technology officer. Obviously, ARPA-E is, is doing pretty well, uh, a lot of work on tech transition. So um, why, why am I here tonight? Uh, well, I was invited, and uh, I used to live here. That's always a good reason to come, come back to Chicago. Um, uh, one thing is to, to check up on the program. This is really the, the LEAP program, the consortium of these uh, like uh, programs at the three labs is very important to us. Um, at the end of the day, it is an experiment. You all, uh, the innovators with your red badges, you are being experimented on. I hope that's okay. Um, I think it's going okay, but a part of the reason was to come check that out. Um, but mainly, uh, it's sort of to scout. So I'm a scientist, I'm an engineer. Uh, by training. I love new technology. It's re really neat. Uh, I've, I've seen um, some neat projects here, and I've, I've had the chance to put on my serious nodding face. Um, the serious nodding face is either I understand what's going on or I have no idea what you're talking about, but I want you to think. I, I, I'm re I am really interested, but I'm, I'm uh, mystified. Um, it's kind of like a Turing test, maybe, for you guys. You can, you can figure out if, if I understand you or you don't. Those of you who are interested in, in computer science. Um, so, sure, interested in the technology, but um, 
I just want to reflect on the fact that um, the DOE uh, programs and the DOE labs, in my opinion, in a lot of people's opinion, comprise really the greatest uh, science and technology enterprise ever conceived. It is a big deal. Most people don't uh, know all the um, uh, uh, know all the details. We have a lot of big science machines. I do the Turing test thing when I go see some of those big science machines too. I don't I don't understand the details of everything. Um, but you know whether we're melting protons and fishing out the quarks uh, from those, whether we are doing computations on the most capable, fastest supercomputers ever conceived. Um, or, or we're taking X-ray movies of single molecules and chemical reactions, just remo or doing uh, tech transition work. It's not necessarily about the big machines; it's about the people, right? I think we all understand that intuitively. Um, so, at the end of the day, I'm out here scouting you all, but you know, in particular the the remarkable folks that um, are, are part of these programs, the three programs. I'd like to see what you got. You know, maybe um, maybe you're going to take your technology and uh, start a company or contribute a company. Maybe you like what you see in the National Lab when you came to, to our laboratories and you want to stay. Uh, that's okay. Maybe if you're a postdoc, I know we have different ages here, uh, you're, you're thinking academia is, uh, was pretty comfortable, pretty enjoyable, uh, and you want to go back there. Um, wh whatever uh, choice you make, we're thrilled. Um, we're thrilled. You were smart. You were motivated enough to get your PhD or get your, you know, advanced degree. Uh, that's why you're here. What's different about you is that you're willing to take risk, right? You're willing to 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 not take the usual path through your career. Try something different. Participate in our experiment, uh, and um, uh, that's really uh, that's really remarkable. So. Those of us that are wearing, sorry, Paul, I'm going to pick on us together. We'll be together here. Uh, those of us wearing ties, maybe we're uh, looking at the, you know, looking at not, not quite retirement yet, but looking at the end game for our careers. And we know, uh, certainly it's been explicitly explained to me, Paul gets it intuitively. Uh, our job is to find great people and assure their success and kind of grow the pipeline, right? Um, and that certainly includes, in my mind, uh, folks who are willing to wave the pirate flag a little bit and try something different. And I think that's what, what we have represented here tonight. Um, you're willing to contribute in non-traditional uh, ways, and we're, we're really proud of that. So um, your success is our success. Uh, I'm going to wind it up here. Uh, I do I appreciate the opportunity to talk with you and to, to help me understand how we're doing as an experiment. Uh, love to follow up with that if there are ways that we can do this better. You know, for those that are here looking for investments in your companies, you know, one pro tip, uh, you could have a fantastic technology. If there's not someone driving it, generally you're not going to get the investment. Somebody pretty good driving that. It's about the people. And conversely, you know, if maybe you haven't gotten all the, the technical details worked out, if you are somebody who's driven and you are communicating excitement, you might get that investment uh, because folks believe that you're going to accomplish uh, your goal there. And hopefully the Department of Energy and our labs can, can help make that happen. So uh, I think we have some other speakers here. I'll stand down. Thanks a lot for having me. Uh, really, this is remarkable. I mean, the energy in the room is incredible. And congratulations to you all for, for putting this together.